Okay. Hey guys, there and today I got this big package from Andrew. The one in question here may be substantial. Andrew may or may not have spoiled one of the main cards in here. But yeah, I believe this is the package in question. So I'm highly intrigued. That will be the only package I open here, but <laughs> I'd like to share a couple things. First off, completely forgot I bought this at the expo. I bought a 1718 Upper Deck MVP box for 60 bucks. So expect a video on that very soon. If you know, you know. So expect a video on that. I picked up a box of 1718 MVP. I eventually need to do a massive series with this product, but there you go, just picked up up a hobby box of that also went to a small show quite a while ago never showed the cards anywhere and they just been sitting here might as well show them here first card here is the colton gillies future watch auto there's a couple bucks i don't know if i have gillies i might have gillies but I had to pick it up in terms of, like the cheap future watch autos i'm not sure which ones i have and don't have i've got to keep better inventory of that but you go colton gillies 809 future watch auto next up another cheap card we got this alex and elkovich like 13 14 i believe 13 14 in the game between the pipes goalie graph his time on the plymouth whalers there so card for an elkovich collection there goalie graph next up just a carter verhage young guns another cheap card there add another one of many to the collection there so carter verhage young guns 1920 next up we got a 1314 select silver prism there Ooh, a freddie hamilton rookie auto there that is 299 so there you go freddie hamilton 1314 i believe this is rookie anthology because it's 2014 there there you go freddie hamilton select silver rookie next up here we got a guy that's in the ahl right now pretty sure i don't have brossois we got laurent brossois 1415 future watch auto he has a strong play of logan thompson and Aiden Hill. I'm pretty sure he's in the AHL right now. Not sure if he's going to get called up soon, but there you go. Laurent Brassois, 881 and 999. Never picked that one up. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to get the 1415 set. Vlad Nemestikov is basically the Luka Caputi of 1415, but there's so many redemptions, including Chris Tierney. Picked this one up for pretty cheap there. I think it's like 10 bucks. Fairly rare redemption card there. Definitely not 999 these in circulation, but 988 and 999. Chris Tierney's on the Panthers now, but there you go. Future Watch auto of him. Glad to finally get that one. Okay, these next cards are all sick, but first up, we got a third. 1314, right? Yeah, 1314 SBA, base limited auto, heater, Danny Heatley. Pretty sure that's the second last year for heater there. Time with Minnesota there. On card auto heater. Going to the miscellaneous SBA auto collection there. Danny Heatley limited auto. Now let's continue that trend here. We got a be a player signatures dual. That's 0607. So the 50 and 07 for heater there. Be a player signatures with Jerome Aguila. So two great goal scorers on one card. Two players I really like. So hey, that's an awesome card right there. Definitely got to get a box of that stuff. It's all autographs. Not too huge on the black ink autos there and they're all stickers but still really cool there two great goal scorers got that one for pretty darn cheap like 10 bucks so gladly take that one next card up here got this danny heatley this is sick i gotta make a video on why there is so many freaking heatley cards out there all of a sudden but we got the draft day marks i believe this is 2021 sp game use danny heatley draft day marks l3 of 10 autograph there so the draft day marks i'm not crazy enough to complete the name plate there but there you go danny heatley there's only 10 per usually it's like 35 but there you go Obviously, it's a manufactured patch, but authentic autograph, 2000 NHL draft, Atlanta Thrashers pick number two. Ah, love that card there. And the final card, biggest pickup, probably bigger than anything I got at the expo. Look at that. Sean Avery, via player signatures, autograph. Nice parking job in the bike lane. You're a lazy f did not have a Sean Avery auto. His autos are pretty tough to come by. Not the best of autos. Another be a player auto. That's 0607 also, right? So that's from the same set. Maybe I should get a box of that stuff. But there you go, Sean Avery auto. Awesome card there. But yeah, there's some miscellaneous pickups. Also got this box to open. Oh, also I found this box. I knew I had it somewhere. It's a 92 OPG Premier. This will just be in my reserve box pile. But there you go, OPG Premier box. Might open that one day. So wait, how many packs are in this? I'm pretty sure it's at least 30, right? I'm honestly not sure, but okay. All right, let's open this pack package from Andrew here. He did email me saying he forgot a note once again. There is more than one card in here. We shall see if I can slow reveal these. What the heck's in here? So should I just slide it out here? Okay. Okay. Open second. We got some uh, Tim Hortons packs there. Is that 21, 22? But let's grab this here. Oh, there's multiple cards in here. What the heck? Open third. That's in a one touch. Open first. Open second. Okay. So here's the three things from Andrew. Let's start off with open first. Is there a way of slow revealing? this can i just poke it up here oh geez what are we looking at artifacts hold on uh what do we got here rookie oh is that 1718 ah it is look at that josh hosen artifacts rookie emerald dual jersey patch auto 22 and 35 there you go nice hosen card there don't think i have the patch auto version it's i know i have several jerseys i have the regular patch version i have to check but awesome right there josh hosen jersey patch auto to 35 from 1718 artifacts all right let's do the second thing from andrew here it's in a one touch okay there's a bunch of tape on the back here see if i can make it more accessible by ripping the tape off here okay 
Okay, what the heck is this? Is this a thick stock card? I think it is. Who is? Ah, uh, I know what that is. That's sick. Oh my gosh. Josh Hosang. Cup. RPA. 230 of 249. That's sick right there. I do have only one other of these, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that being said, I've recently got the gold. I've got the exquisite from the cup. I mean, still looking for the one of ones. I doubt I'm ever going to get those, but there you go. Another cup. RPA to 249. That is fantastic right there. And the final thing from Andrew here open third it's in a one touch and the card isn't that thick and he did say what it was and let's uh, oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh uh, <laughs> I guess who uh <laughs> we got a kale macar Future watch auto. I opened 32 boxes of this crap. Never pulled them. And Andrew just sent me this. Like, okay. so geez. 819 of 999. Dang. Well, there you go. Kill McCoy. Future watch auto. Ugh. Before I recorded, I was looking for my list for an hour. My 1920 future watch list. I'm pretty sure it's just down to Igor. I should just bite the bullet and complete the set so I can move on to 2021 finally. But Andrew, <laughs> what the heck? We got the Kale McCarr future watch auto. The saga is finally over. Thank you so much, Andrew. What an amazing gesture. Oh my gosh. That is sick right there, McCarr. So there you go. That's the biggest future watch auto I need, period, from any year. I'm pretty sure other than that would be the two Bruins. So do I agree with this price? So we're gonna get into that right now. Maybe you know what, I'll just throw up this screen because I put it together before I made this video. He definitely is having a McDavid like effect. Like in 2016, Connor McDavid definitely had an entire effect on the hobby. The McDavid effect I felt like a lot of stuff rose, like Crosby stuff rose after McDavid came in the league. McCarr is doing the same effect to defensemen. I feel like that at least the wave of 1920 rookies there. Because before this, like Victor Hedman, his future watch two years ago was like 40 bucks. So more people are buying in the defenseman. I mean, like when I got back in the hobby in 2015, Duncan Keith coming off a unbelievable Conn Smythe performance, winning the Stanley Cup, winning his third Stanley Cup, had a couple of Norris trophies under his belt. His youngest was like 30 bucks and like other big youngest at the time, like PK and Carlson were like 30, 40 bucks. I know Ekblad was like 40 bucks. So that's probably why I find it so jarring seeing a defenseman go for that much. Like that's my perspective there. Usually defensemen shouldn't be that high unless your name is Bobby Orr. Some of the greatest defensemen of all time don't have super valuable cards like Nick Lidstrom, for example, Ray Bork, compared to forwards of their time, it's just non-comparable. That's why I'm so hesitant to pay so much for McCarr, and, and geez, car stuff is pretty much past McKinnon. I don't know if I believe in that. Maybe this McKinnon's undervalued in general, which probably is the case. Then again, I have a feeling, where is he? This guy might be on his way to overshadowing everybody in the league, just my opinion, but yeah. Gail McCarr, Future Watch Auto. Andrew, I can't thank you enough. We gotta figure out a player for you for the 22-23 crop. Also, if you want me to hunt different players for you, just let me know. So there's that. Once again, Andrew, thank you so much. Definitely gotta finish this set now so i can focus on 2021 kale mccarr open so many boxes 1920 i'm never gonna open a 1920 box again even though i really enjoy the product yeah guys stay tuned for more breaks to come ah. as always thank you for watching i'll see you guys later